Boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you already know how we do. We're blessed. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. But you know my style. One bagger bagger and the one I gotta continue giving them daily updates on the people you see and don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch it. And with that being said, boy, oh boy, oh boy, let us just kick it off with Spice. Because it seems like she has a history of calling people animals. It's immersive. Um, video is surfacing of her calling Bambi. Um, a giraffe, you see me, <laughs> and the people that miss calling for her, you know what, to be fired, you see me, I say, cause you know the other day, Erica Mayna called a blue monkey, and things and things, you see me, I say, so let's take a look at this clip, um, that's happening in Bahamas on Love and Hip Hop, and then we'll proceed. Wow, you know, I can't keep up with love and hip hop storyline. You know, people putting out a comment section was this one filmed um, before the table flipping with Erica Mayna. You see, me, I said, uh, on the social media, detectives putting out a comment section, and the spice body looked the same, or oh, it was in other scene there. But nevertheless, um, wow, the people that miss really switching on spice. You see, me, I said, on the conduct to the comments, them under that post, yeah. Um, the people them, you know, is apologizing to Erica Mena. Spice calling Bambi Giraffe, and I dare somebody not to say it's derogatory, you know what I mean? Um, some people are saying, you know, I bet you them not gonna say this is racist. When they can't read the comments on itself. You see me, my seven people, I me mean, just uh, showing a walk one from walk one from out there, so you see me, I say, ah oh, boy, I want bag a bag and I want, you know. <laughs> But anyway, keeping with the same topic, uh, Mr. Vegas is touching on this topic once again because Spice, you know, she involved all of us. As you can see, he posted, the Queen said, we are all in this together and she wants answers. You see what I said? So this is piece of part two of, um, you know, part two of his take on the situation. But let's hear what Spice had to say first. Are you guys saying the fact that I triggered her as you guys say, does that mean it's okay to experience racism as long as you were triggered or as long as you are angry? We're all in this together, so I'm just asking questions and I'm not being, you know, ignorant. I'm not playing victim and I am taking full accountability because you said, you know, I experienced the racism because I triggered her. So is that a new thing now in 2023? It's okay to receive racism as long as you're angry. I'm just asking. So feel free to let me know because I got open by the comment section and I really want to. Jet Black. And nobody no name, quote unquote, Latino or Spanish. Nobody no name, sir. You see what I say? People label people with names based on geographical locations and all them things here. Nobody no name Spanish. And according to the narrative where they put forward, so if you have 1% black in here, you're black. One, one drop of black blood makes you black. A person like Erica back in a slavery or post slavery could not ride on the bus or on the train and take a, a white man, a pure white man's seat. So Erica is a black woman, you know. It was another black woman who get, you know, some look of favorism and some look of privilege from Massa. And, and feel like she's better than the plantation Negroes. It's just that, it's just, it's, and that's not just Erica, it's many of, many of these people, especially right, right, right under, in that region where Hispaniola, Hispaniola, you know, without getting too much details to offend nobody, so them stop buying my music. <laughs> Our blacklist. Me. But it's the same thing, it's just uh, across the border, them feel like, they feel like they're better than the dark-skinned people, them. And it's even, even in our own society that happens where the uptown Negroes, them feel like they're better than the downtown dark-skinned Negroes. So Erica is just a bossy slave. Still working for Massa.
Miniax, Babina says, Eric Abam is light skin Hispanic, so is her dad. What is light what is light skin Hispanic? Is she black or is she is she quote unquote white? What is light skin Hispanic? See in I class and I learn nothing. What is light skin Hispanic? What is that term? What is a light skin Hispanic? Lisa is a light skin black woman. Lisa Hannah from Jamaica is a light skin black woman. Tess and Chin and Tammy Chin them are light skin black people. What is a light skin black woman? What is a light skin Hispanic? What is Hispanic? What is they are both light skin? Are they black people? Are they African people? Are they people with African descendants? Some from African descendants mix up in them. Are they African descendants? Excuse me. Is it why is it quote unquote pure white breed? Leave from over that side of Europe where it's cold. And during the whole colonization era, start interbreed with the Africans them. Created changes in the pigmentation of the skin. So I want to stop on the foolishness, Bridget. It's just different shades in the pigmentation. Add skin, add pigment. Is it? So just stop on the nonsense, Bridget. We don't have light color black people. Stop it. So that is not even the crux of the matter. We just are showing us a black woman. So you don't want to you don't want to call Erica a black woman now because it suits you. She's a black woman. It's them same looking people that could not ride on the bus. It's them same looking people that were looked at as Negroes back in slavery and post slavery. Right up post slavery there. It's now it's now some of these Latinos start represent themselves as them white. Zin? Alright. So it's two plantation Negroes fighting. Whether no one like it, yes or no. It's just two plantation Negroes. Every Camina is a plantation Negro. Working still for Massa. And spice come from the region where the darker Negroes them were sent to. <laughs> Alright? No. Leave it alone now. Uh, hear what you're saying because based on how you represent yourself. When you speak, them can't really understand you, but them can't understand when you are fight. That's why them cast you as the angry Jamaican woman. All is a fight. And that's why it end up here, so. Because them, come on, sister. So you outgrow it and go turn. Um, we fight at them name. With a name. Mortal Kombat. You outgrow, you know. And then go take your turn in a Mortal Kombat. You see? Like them just press one button and say, Fight! I want to just fight. And that you outgrow, we fight, you know. We Jamaican people, you know. We give you a crown. After ladies are roll it off of the hill. Ladies are take off the crown and roll it off of the hill. And the people and go pick you up and put it on your head. And say, Now you are the queen. And we will crown your queen. You outgrow we and go and turn fighter. And when we talk, then we don't say we love mix up and they sit there. But that's the truth. Them shows here when them beat them, them black woman here. All of them black woman here. We think, and it's, it's just a, a bunch of women where some of them think they're better than each other, you know. And all they're doing, you know. Is trying to kill off themselves to look good on the show, you know. Some of them are some old women, you know. Past forties, you know. And all them do them that kill themselves under a knife to look good on the show. Because they come in on television. Only that go under the knife a hundred times a week. Just to look good on the show. Not because you don't feel insecure about yourself and you don't want to pretty up on yourself. Because I hear about you know. 
You can't go fix up your body and do your ears and do your nose like Michael Jackson and walk around with all one nose or one nostril. You can't go do your lips them and whatever you want to because it's your body. Nobody can tell you what to do with your body. What we are saying is, is the obvious. You girls, who not turn on yourself in a monkey just to be on the show. Just to be on television to outgrow the people them. You don't want to outgrow the people they want to grow up with, the people they want to endorse, you know? the people they want to embrace. You know? It's just freestyle like one. So when we, have a, when, we, when we sit down and talk, um, you know, I went to Jamaica and I went and visit the Blue Lagoon. Bitch, what did you say? Like, did you call me a Blue Lagoon? Yes, bitch, you're a blue lagoon. Here, 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 to the man that you did not cry because why he's not crying <laughs> and he should have been crying and what about your kids when last you see your son Burp. <laughs> what happened <laughs> not even the security then we ready <laughs> Security them ready. <laughs> Rick Stam, not even security ready. <laughs> it's a nice conversation. <laughs> Let's just discuss our problems. You know. Um you know what the problem I have with you? You know what the problem I have with you? You bitch. Like we're supposed to be having a, a conversation to iron out with differences. You know what the problem I have with you? <laughs> no, I did not cry because So talk about your son. Why you not talking why you not taking care of your son? Boop. That... What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I that's not I don't know why I kill myself, my sisters. The representation of the mad black woman. The casting of the mad black woman. The angry black woman. And then they put it in them data. They put it in their data and they have all of us black people. As monkeys. Because them say as a monkey behave. So when you act like a monkey and you get called a monkey. Don't bother come come back to we. Because we are treat we we are try. You know? Not to be monkeys. We they are try. You know? So when you be of them we them and call each other names. Nobody come try to draw all we night. Because we not try to behave so. We are trying to point out who no monkey behavior. Because I saw them cast, you know. That is how them cast, you know. You see? That is it. So, Sister Spice, in a nutshell, don't come out here, come try playing a victim. Because now you have become the laughing stock. People are like me, sang off a yak, the blue monkey. You know why? You know why? Because you're outgrowing. You're outgrowing. You see? Because you want to be American. Because you're not foreign minded. But you can't recover. Just walk. Now, this thing with Queen Africa and her alleged daddy is just getting weirder and weirder because she posted a video saying. 
in her caption saying, so I'm now learning like everyone else that I was seen as a friend. Wow. Just wow. God is my father. It's amazing. Not one girl. Laverne Morgan and she is okay, so. uh, but I have a lot more children now. The Queen of Africa is Ventures. one of my friends. Oh, I said, yeah, my friend, my son, my daughter. I was married nine. Yeah, again, people, I don't know if this video was spliced or not. Um, I haven't seen the full interview. I just seen what she posted on her channel, and as you can see by her caption, um, it's heartbreaking. <laughs> you feel me? To have a man that you consider your father who did the unthinkable to you and now saying to the world that you're not being picked me. And I mean, and implying that it might be one of his friends, um, child, basically saying he didn't do nothing wrong and did the incest thing. You know, I mean, you can see the reaction to the people in the comment section, you know, saying this is ways of, you know, a pedo and all of this stuff. You see, me, I say, um, I know Derek Morgan's sons are planning a lawsuit on their sister. I mean, they claim that there's their, that's their sister. So I don't know if this is a splice video, like I said. But um, maybe in a, the, the court proceedings, um, they can do a DNA test to prove um, whether, you know, she's a part of the Morgan family or not. You know, she bears the last name. You heard him say she ha he has one child. Um, but he has other kids, you know, I guess outside of the marriage. You see me, I say, um, wow, this is a whole lot, you feel me? But I'm pretty sure we'll hear from Queen Africa in the near future. I'm pretty sure her lawyers is advising her and things what to say. And that's it. You see me, I say, because they might build for them kids, so she has to go build for her kids too. You know what I mean? But anyway, people, man, I'll go longer this no longer. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified. Whenever we are, try to latest. Bless.